Hey guys, so one year ago today, I uploaded my very first YouTube video. My very first YouTube video of this little frog. If you go back all the way back, it's been 72 or 3 videos later. Here we are today. What I thought I would do for this little video is recreate the little frog with with better camera angles, better lighting, better camera quality, and it also there was no talking in the video, the first video that I put up. So, and I, I got some complaints, several complaints. Uh, almost quit after that first video because not too many people liked it and it uh, it just didn't suit what we were, what I was trying to do. So I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd re, redo the frog and it, it did get, it's, it's gotten several likes. It's one of my highest, um, viewed video that I've done in the past year, mostly because I'm sure it was the very first one I did and it's been up, it's been up the longest. So we'll try it again, see if we can uh, make it a little better and hopefully we'll make it, make it a little easier to follow, a little easier to, for you to carve. So probably the best thing about that whole video was old Duke and see if we can recreate uh, the best part of that video. Come here, Dookie. Come here. Want a tree? Come here. See it? You miss being. Dookie, that's not spin. <laughs> speak. Give me a good speak. Now give me one more spin. Good boy. So we'll get started, guys. So in that first video, you saw a, a lot of lines going across here. It was very confusing if you were trying to decide which line to start from. I just had too many, too many lines. It was my very first video and because I wasn't talking in that video, it, uh, it was very, very hard to comprehend. So we're going to make it a little bit easier this time. I've got three lines going across and we're going to go on the, we're going to go on the flat side. This is about a one and a quarter by one and a quarter. You can use one by one. You can use one and a half. And just adjust the, the three main lines on the front just a little bit up or down. If you've got uh, a little bit bigger piece, this is a four inch long piece. <clears throat> so the first, first line is an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter from the top. Second line is two and an eighth from the top. And the third line is three inches. So we're going to make some straight lines all the way across the front. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Going across there. And what we're going to do is V cuts on the line. So we're going to start under, come up. Are you taking me? What time is it? Five or two thirty. Yeah. So we had to make a baseball practice run. So all we've done is put the little V cut in. And you're just going to do this on all four corners. All four corners. You're going to do this on 
each side of each cut, each line. All right, so now let's get in good and deep on all these. We've got our, we've established our, our spot. Let's go good and deep. When I first started that last video, had all those lines going across there. I'm sure it was very difficult without me talking. It was just a, the video was just really bad. It's just all you can say. Now we're gonna connect the fronts, the front B cuts. It was bad because you didn't talk. Didn't say a thing, didn't couldn't explain what I was doing, and I don't know how it got viewed at all. But I will go and put uh, I'll put a a link to it at the top right now, so that if you'd like to go back and see where I've come from. to where I am now. All right, let's keep going. We need to get good and deep on all three of these lines. And now when I say good and deep, I mean at least a third away through the block and probably almost Almost half. I shouldn't say half because I don't think it's going to be that far. Let's say a good third. third of the way into the block. Whatever size you're using. But it's a hard cut to do. Just turn it upside down and come from the other direction. If you got more to hold on the block, it's a whole lot easier. And I hope everybody's got their their gloves on. I got holes in mine, and the holes, guys, you know where they're from. My knife coming and sliding in different places. These are gloves that I've had since I've started videoing a year ago. But they've done really well and they got a few holes but I've got I've got little pieces of uh, um, that protective wrap where I've got holes in my gloves underneath you use what you got guys all right see so we're about a third there about a third. Let's stop at a third. Okay, so if this is the face, let's go on and put a couple eyes up here on the face. Just for the heck of it. We're going to get ready to cut those off anyway. <clears throat> we're going to go, we're going to turn sideways here and we're going to go round that top off cut those corners off something like that we're going to cut a bunch off there at the top make your lines up on both sides and start trimming back
do that on the front and back. Now what we're going to do in the middle here, we're going to leave a little bit because I'm going to get, I want to get eyes in there that stand up, and that is a tough cut, guys. Um, I've done some of these frogs with just a painted on eyes. I don't like the look of that as much as I do this guy with the, with the eyes that stand, stand up. Makes him look a little more like a frog to me. So that's all going to come out of that end grain on top. So that's going to be it's going to be a t tough to cut that. Make sure your knife is good and sharp. I'm going to put my eyes back on here. Put it down here where we won't cut it off for now. All right, so now let's cut some more, a little deeper off the top, especially off the top. This is going to be the arms, so we'll leave that for now. We want to just take more off of this top half. Cut back in. If you see how far back it goes, you now I've rounded, it rounds it in there in the neck to way back, almost to the back side of the frog, frog's head. But in the middle here, it only goes about halfway deep. Then we're going to round it back. Then up our frog. So we'll start cutting these edges back, like so. Okay. All right, now let's take Let's take these corners off. Or knock this one off, I think. Take all these corners off. At the bottom, also middle, bottom. And let's go on and take take all this backside corner off lightly. About an eighth of an inch wide. What I mean by an eighth of an inch wide, see after I make that cut, we've got about an eighth of an inch. There's an eighth of an inch line. I've got about an eighth of an inch that I've cut width. Too. All right, makes it a little easier to hold now. All right, now let's go down. Let's turn it upside down, and let's cut from the bottom up this time. We're going to cut it nice and deep from the bottom, like we did up here on top. Okay, much better. Okay, so now we've got a, a spot in the back. 
most of the back is going to be rounded off just a little bit up there at the head we'll round it towards the eyes and down here on this on his little butt area where he's going to sit on the rock so the only deep spot is right opposite of this deep spot that we made here which was the what was that i don't even remember what it was three and three and a quarter that sound right or three no it's three inches so we're going to go on the back side here make us another mark and all you're doing is lining it up with your with your notch on the front a couple of marks get your line going all the way across there now this one is not going to be quite as deep as the rest of them start on the corners if you'd like and come up I made a ton of these little frogs a lot of people like these when I first did them first got started and I made a lot of them so I could knock one out in no time when I first started out but it's been a it's been almost a year since I've done one of these so we're catching up a little bit all right see the rock and his feet will will stick out here on the rock two feet and we'll cut the knees in we'll separate his legs there and his knees will be here and then we'll cut in his arms folded here up on the head we'll we'll uh, we'll shape it to make it look like frog head and we'll cut some eyes in on top so we'll we'll cut in a couple of spots there a couple of squares cut away from the squares get a little deeper and that's that's probably the toughest part of the whole the whole carve is that little that little eye area on top because it's that ingrain and it's uh, you got to go straight down into it it's a little tougher to cut okay so here's what starting out looks like hope you can see that okay okay so let's come down to the butt area and we're gonna from about halfway down we're gonna shave off we're going to make that a gradual angle down on the back side of his frogness. give him a like he's slouching on that rock and for those of you that watched that very first video and of carving this little guy you might remember how many times I got out of camera out of focus out of uh, out of frame happened quite a bit I got some negative feedback because of that but it helped me learn now this new camera so I recorded that one with a with a laptop from about 
six or seven feet away but this this camera allows me to work work a little closer to what I'm doing and gives you a better view at what I'm doing the only thing about using this camera is it being between my hands because I like I like my my piece to be right up next to me sometimes if I'm just carving something if I'm just hacking away I like things to be right up on my hands and I can see them a little better now all I'm doing right now is taking off as the rock will have to be rounded down here at the bottom on all the corners and you don't want any flat spots on your rock as many as, as few as possible and shape him up a little bit take all the flatness off and give it some give it a chipped a knife chip look You don't want to do a whole lot with that front though because we're going to put his feet in there and I'm going to cut them out. <clears throat> okay, so let's come up to his head now and do the same thing. Now, we're going to angle this edge we can take off a little bit on both sides. And we're going to take that towards the top off more too. Round these edges off towards that middle. It's going to take that flat spot off the very top too before we draw in some eyes. Okay. He'll be back. All right, so let's take some more off back here. Let's round, round the back of his head off. And you just kind of got to go back and forth checking. I'm just going to leave this flat for now so we can make a, a little point and then we're going to come back and we're going to make a big rounded spot for his frog face. It all can be rounded above that area. Okay, one more thing. Let's go a little deeper at the very bottom. Let's finish out him sagging down there. Still don't like this up here. Take some more bit out. Now let's take all that flatness out of the very back. You get some flat spots in these very in the very back back here. Go on and take those out. And round those corners off a little bit. Work your way up towards the head.
I'm taking that flat spot off the top again. And work on this rock just a little bit more. Remember to leave the front along a little bit. Let's just round it on the back side and the sides so it looks a little more like a rock. Sometimes that's hard to do is make something look like a rock. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, one thing I see that I want to do is his hands are going to come from this area down here. So this area in here can also come out. And we'll get too close to the back. Kind of round it. Round it from the that hands area. Round it down. Take some of that out. One thing about recording videos, you I usually do it with the garage door open, especially when it's warmer than 80, 85 or so. When it gets winter time, you don't get as much of that much noise and because uh, I can shut the garage door and, and when it's this warm I don't I don't care about the noise as much. I just want to be a little cooler. Still think we can take more off the back side of his head here. We want that head really leaning towards the front. See how it really tapers forward. Round those sides up. Take a little off the top again. Once you get a little deeper into that ingrain, it becomes a little easier to to deal with. In my opinion, anyway. That's better. All right, so I'm going to stop and draw a few lines in, and we will come back.